today we are going to yes uh today we are going to proceed with english grammar okay because we have completed english text in this class so english grammar idioms chapter we have done proverbs chapter i have already done in one of your section and i have uploaded it in, in youtube so do check it today i am going to teach you the writing portion rather show you demonstrate to you i think in our syllabus we have letter writing notice writing and story writing okay so we are going to start with notice writing today take out your english grammar copy first of all let me explain to you what a notice writing is assuming you have not done it before okay have you done notice writing before what is a notice a notice is a short composition or a short passage which is conveyed which is written to convey some important information okay so you have done it fine so we are just going to do it again it is a short composition or a passage which is written to formally communicate formally means in a formal manner you don't write a notice to your own family members or to your friends but you write it in a formal manner for any kind of formal requirement it can be a notice for the school board it can be a notice for any other office or any other places but it is in a it is written in a formal manner okay it's a formal done Shomojit couldn't join the class. Okay, I'm joining you. Tell me, has any other class been taken today, or this is the first class? Second class. Then already your uh, attendance has been taken. attendance has been taken in your class not taken fine so just tell me those of you who are present tell your names and write your names and write present okay and don't leave the call even after i end the lesson because i can uh, take down your attendance at that point of time right so do it so a notice is a short composition which is used to formally communicate some information about some event which is going to happen or some kind of rules some kind of necessary information communicate some information okay a notice has a particular format for which we have to remember the format because if you write the format properly it is like half the marks comes from that itself okay because the format is very important in notice writing if you write a wrong format and your notice is correct that means you are going to have a lot less uh, marks okay in the exam even though you write the notice properly if your format is not correct it is not a proper notice at all understood so remember the format all the time so let us just a notice has to be written in a box a box has to be drawn after writing the notice on the top you will write the name of the institution it can be the name of your school if you are representing your school say bird one model school you will write it on the top okay then comes the 
word notice who has who is talking whose mic is not muted mona lisa tell me the names of those students okay those who disturbs because uh, i am not able to hear it but if you guys have any problem just tell me the name if you have a problem in writing it here you can anonymously write it to me in my mail id you can just tell me which students are making a problem in class i will just make an official uh, complaint against them all okay okay so just let us come back to the class notice you will write the name of the institution then you will write the word notice it can be any name this one but don't give an underline after it then write the word n o t i c e in blocks then in this side write the date okay write the date in this side the format which is given in your book follow that format and then write the topic of the notice in a central form that means the topic of the notice has to be written indent should be central then you will start the body of the notice and then after uh, you have written the body of the notice you will write the name uh, your first of all you will write your signature okay signature will be here and just below it the name and designation of the person who is writing the notice suppose you are writing as the class president or as the cultural secretary of the school you will write your name and just below it you will write your name in full and then write that you cultural secretary okay name and designation both the things has to be written understood so this is like the which questions what ma'am which questions have a problem in the sentence of yeah 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 i forgot to tell it to you no yes i am going to tell it to you wait this one all of you have understood the format of notice after writing the entire remember that if you are writing it in exam or in any other place try to put the entire notice in one page only that means don't if there is just a little bit of space left in the page don't start writing the notice in that page write it in a fresh page so that the whole notice comes in one page only okay then come uh, remember that the notice after writing the notice you have to draw a box around it with pencil it's better if you draw it with pencil okay done all of you have found it uh, all of you have written it down now what will be your homework how many marks is allotted for a notice generally i generally allot 5 marks for it but if the question demands that if the format of the exam or the question paper demands that it be of 8 marks then also it is done 5 to 8 marks maximum okay now come to the exercise your homework is to do question number 5 okay question number 4 and 5 question number 4 and 5 is your homework from the exercise homework is question number 4 and question number 5 understood all of you have to do it you will send it to me i will upload it in the e portal then you can send it to me and most of you know my mail id if you write it previous to my uh, giving it in the e portal then you will send it to me by mail okay 4 and 5 only 4 and 5 you do it for my ho as homework for me but obviously you are going to practice all which are given in book and if you can find something else you can practice that as well it's just for your understanding of the concept of notice better right okay now come to something else 
Previously, I have completed a chapter with you sentences. In that chapter one question, question number 16, I had mistakenly marked it as complex. It will not be complex. It will be simple because the sentence is a simple sentence. Okay. Just take out your copy or book wherever you have marked the answer. Notice uh, 150, 120 to 150 words. Notice 120 to 150 words. Okay. The body of the notice that is. Now come to chapter number 10. Question number 16 of chapter 10. Change it to simple. Not complex but simple. Okay. So chapter 10. Question 16. The answer will be simple. Simple sentence. Okay. Done. Done. It will be simple because it is a simple sentence. I did not check it properly while I was doing it. I was very uh, doing it in a haste manner. Look at the question once again. Look at the question. There is just one clause in the sentence. Okay, that's why it will be simple sentence. Because of something is written but that is not a clause. Okay, I had not checked it properly. So, I thought it was a it, because of dust allergy is not a clause. It's actually a phrase. So, she was uncomfortable because of dust allergy is just one clause. Okay. So, it will be a simple sentence. So, this is the fastest way of identifying whether its sentence is simple or complex or com compound is identifying how many clauses it has. If first of all you identify the number of clauses, if it is more than one try to understand whether the clauses are joined by a subordinating conjunction or by a coordinating conjunction and whether they make a proper sense on their own. Okay, then you can identify whether it is a simple sentence or a complex sentence or a compound sentence. Understood? Fine. So, uh, this one that confusion is cleared. I hope all of you have changed it. Now, come to the next type of writing. Tell me how much time is left for our class? Okay, under the letter writing, we are just going to do the formal letter. Okay. When does the class end? 11.20. The class started at 11, right? So, till 11.20 or 11.30. Let me check it. So, all of you please take out your book and take out page number 188. Yes, the class ends at 11.20. So, just 4 minutes are left. 4 minutes are left. Yes, 11.20. Uh, so, the next writing we are going to do is letter writing. And in your exam, just prepare for the formal letter writing. Okay. So, formal letters, we already know about what a letter is. Formal letters are written for a formal purpose when the person who is writing the address, person who is writing the letter and the person or the persons to whom the letter is being addressed to, they have a formal relationship. Like if you are writing a letter to the principal of your school, it will be a formal letter. If you are writing a letter to the editor of a newspaper, it will be a formal letter. If you are writing a complaint to the chairman of the municipal committee or municipal co corporation in your town, it will be a formal letter. Okay. So, for all kinds of formal purposes, whenever we write a letter, it is called a formal letter. So, page number 187 in your book, take it out. Same, more or less same, around 150 words. Okay. 
formal letter is much shorter than an than an informal letter in formal letter there's a lot of space or lot of scope for writing something extra but in formal letter we just stick to the point we just stick to the premise we just stick to the topic or the subject on which we are writing the letter okay we do not drag or we do not expand it more than necessary because obviously it's a formal letter okay so you have to write the formal letters let us just go through a typical application to principle 150 words within 150 words let us just write an application to the principle yes i am going to repeat it obviously i am going to repeat the format if you are writing a letter to the principal you are not going to write your address okay you will simply write just going to show you one example yeah so first of all formal letter an application we are going to do application or a formal letter to a principal okay this is something most common for your class or for uh, that means the school going children you already know how to write a letter to the principal of your school so suppose you write the principal you begin it by addressing the person the principal the name of your school then the address i think it will be deyandigi just a small short address deyandigi bardhaman okay now after writing this you will write it's mirzapur okay <laughs> just tell me the address i don't or j let's just let me write name of the school address okay so this one i think you can understand now next comes the date and everything should be left margin from the left margin everything should be written so the date comes next and then comes the subject of the letter okay subject for the letter done then you will write either you will write dear sir or you will write simply sir or if it is a woman who is the principal you will write madam okay no comma after this begin the body of the letter from this side that is left margin in the modern format everything starts from the left margin okay the first maximum you can write it in two paragraphs and another paragraph where you will just simply thank the person okay everything should begin from the left margin okay then after writing the body of the letter you will simply write yours faithfully or yours obediently okay or yours sincerely that means you can either write 
yours faithfully or yours sincerely whatever then write your name your full name and if you are writing as a student of the school you will also write your class okay so designation name and designation you are a student obviously so you will also write your class a formal letter does not need to be enclosed in bracket okay this is also known as main body this part is the main body of the letter yes homework is there from this chapter also from formal letters you will write question number a 1 and a 2 it's very easy both of them are letters to the principal so question number a 1 and 2 are your homework and this is for all the students of class 7 the same homework is there question number 1 and 2 okay so students i am going to end the class now i think tomorrow we don't have another class so happy puja all of you behave in a responsible manner remember to keep your masks always on whenever you are in a public setting and uh, remember to keep maintain your hygiene as well as your health act in a responsible manner and have fun accordingly thank you students bye